Welcome friends. In this video we are going to learn jQuery effects. jQuery effect methods are used to give animation effect to the HTML element. First let us learn the animate method. To animate a particular HTML element we can use animate method where we need to pass different CSS animation attributes separated by comma. In general animation can be performed on only those CSS properties that are specified as numeric values. For example, we can specify width, height and font size as numeric value. So generally animations are performed only on these attributes. So let us see this with, with example. In this page I have a button and I have a paragraph. On click of this button I have selected the paragraph and then I have a specified couple of properties whose value can be specified into numeric and the second parameter will be the intensity of the animation so it, it can be fast medium or uh, slow or it can be the numeric numbers for example 500 milliseconds or 5000 milliseconds something like this let's see this animate click you can see that it has been it has animated the next method that we are going to see is the hide method to hide a particular HTML element hide method can be used let us see this hide method. I have a button and I have a div. Now what I want to do is that on click of this button I want to hide this div. So I will I will select the div and I will, I will call the hide method. In this hide method I can pass the intensity of the of, of the hide. It can be either slow, medium or fast. So let's go ahead and see the hide method here. Hide. You can see that the div has been hidden. The next method in this is the slide up method. Slide up method, let's see. To hide a HTML element using slide up effect, slide up method is used. So let's see this slide up method. I have a text box here and I have a div element. Now on the click of this text box, sorry, on click of this button, sorry, this is a button, not a text box. On click of this button, I want to hide this div element with the slide up effect. So let us see. Slide up. When I will click click this button, then this div element will hide. You can see that this div element had hide with the slide up effect. Now in these methods we have ability to pass the second parameter as the function name that will fire when the slide up effect has completed. So let us see this. I will refresh this page and when I clicked it slide up is finished and then the function has been called that has given the alert slide up completed. You can see that once the slide up is done with the slow ness and then the second parameter is the function name that will fire when the slide up effect is done. The third, the next method is show. This method is nothing but to show the HTML element. So let us see that. Show method. I have a button here and I have a div element here. On click of the button I am calling the show method and that will show my div element. So go back and so click you can see that the div element is showing. The next method is slide toggle method. Let's see slide toggle method. S to toggle display an HTML element with sliding effect a slide toggle method can be used. So let's see here I have a button and I have a div element on click of the button I am calling the slide toggle method on the div slide toggle on this div. Let's see slide toggle when I clicked once then it is showing when I will click again then it will hide when I will again click that will show then and when I'm clicking again it will hide so we will get the sliding effect and the next method is toggle method Let's see the toggle method. Toggle is here. Now here what I have is that I have a button and then I have a div. 
on click of the button I have specified div dot toggle and I have specified the intensity with slowness so what it will do is that it will currently it is displaying so when I will click toggle then it will hide when I will ag again click the button then it will show when I will again click the button it will hide when I will cl again click the button it will show now you can ask that what is the difference between the toggle and the slide toggle actually toggle is the combination of show and hide method and slide toggle is the combination of slide up and slide down method so in slide toggle the element is element hides and so with sliding effect and in toggle the elements and the elements hide and so with normal effect you can see that the next method we are going to see is the stop method to stop currently executing animation for an element a stop method can be used when the currently executing animation stops the next animation in the queue starts so let's see this stop here I have two button called a start and a stop and I have a div element on which I am going to perform some animations on click of the start button I have specified three animation to be performed so all three animations will perform in the queue first th this animation will perform second after that this animation and after that this animation will perform now there I have another button called stop when I will click on a stop button I am going I selected the div on which animation is being performed and I have called the stop method what will happen is that when these three animations in the queue will be performed for example when the element is shown uh, as soon as the animation is performed to increase the width of this particular element I clicked the stop button then what will happen is this animation will st stop and it will come to the next an animation that will start decreasing its size so let us see this uh, stop so start it is increasing I clicked stop it came back let's see this once again start it is increasing I clicked you can see that it has come back so when it was increasing the size I clicked a stop and this animation stops there itself and the next animation fire that decreases the size of the element now the next animation animation method we have is the clear queue to remove the unexecuted unused animation item from the queue clear queue method can be used okay so let us see the clear queue uh, method example here i have a button called a start and then i have another button called a stop and I have a div element on which I am performing the animations on the click of the start button I have specified three animation to be performed first will be so second will increase its width and third will slide up on click of second button what I have done is that first I am calling the clear queue so what it will do is that as soon as for example let us take an example that I have this animation is being performed now after that as soon as it started animating the width I clicked on a stop button then what will happen is that it will clear the entire queue so after this this animation has to be performed but because of clear queue this animation has been cleared and then this stop will what it will do is that it will stop the currently executing um, animation start it is increasing the width I click the stop it is stop there itself and the next slide up effect has not happened because of this clear queue itself so this was the uh, clear queue method the next method is slide down slide down method is is used to show up any hidden element with sliding effect so let us see slide down I have a button and this is my div on click of this button I have called the div I have selected the div and called the slide down method so let's see this slide down click and you can see that the hidden element is showing in the sliding effect the next method in this series is fade in to display a hidden element using fade in effect fade in method can be used so let us see this fade in 
fade in is here so in the same page I have uh, covered fade in and fade out both so what first button I have is fade in second button I have is fade out on click of fade in button I have called fade in method fade in so let us see what is happening fade in out fade in you can see that it has shown the div with fade in effect okay now let us see the fade out to hide a displayed displaying element fade out method can be used this makes the element transparent so let us see the fade out now when I will click on fade out btn fade out then what will happen is that it will fade out the hidden element sorry the shown element will fade out and it will become transparent so let me refresh this page and uh, let us wait for some time I clicked on fade in so the hidden element has shown now when I click fade out the shown element has hidden with fade out effect let us see the fade to method now so to adjust the opacity of the HTML element fade to method can be used okay let us see this example this is fade to now in this I have a button and I have a div element on which I will perform the animation on click of the button I have selected the div element and I have a specified fade to with slow intensity and opacity to 0 0.20 so let us see this I have refreshed this page fade to you can see that opacity is 0 0.20 what if I will uh, increase the opacity to 0 0.60 let's see what is happening fade to you can see that the opacity is 0 0.60 the next method is delay to delay the execution of the subsequent method delay method can be used it accepts number of milliseconds as parameter okay so let us see this in action delay okay here I have a button called btn delay and then I have a div element on which I, I will perform the animation now what I have done here is that I am calling the slide down effect on the div delay on click of button and after delaying of 500 millisecond I want to call fade out okay so let us see that delay on click slide down 500 millisecond it waited and then it fade out now let us increase this time to maybe 3000 millisecond so what will happen first it will slide down and then it will wait for 300 milli 3000 millisecond and then it will fade out so let me refresh this page clicked slide down wait for three seconds and then slide up sorry sl uh, fade out not slide up but fade out so that was the delay method that is used to delay the execution of the function the next method is queue method to get the number of items to be executed on particular element queue method can be used let us see this queue is here now here I want I have a button and I have a div element now what I want to do is that on click of the button I want to know that how many animations has to be performed on the div queue so I have called the queue method in which I have written one two three four animation to be performed now in order to get the number of animations to be performed what I will do is that I will call that I will select the div queue on which I have mentioned the uh, animations and then dot queue and I will pass fx as a parameter that will give me the object and then from that object that object is nothing but the array of animations and then from that object dot length I will get the number of animation that has to be performed on the particular element so let us see queue and Q you can see that 4 because I have mentioned 4 animations to be performed here now let us learn the uh, 
jq.fx.off actually to switch off and on the animation effect for the entire page jQueryFX.off can be used this disables all animations globally and set the elements to its final state directly let us see this with example now here what we have is that we have two button in fact three button first is the toggle animation and second is the button show and button hide and on the toggle on the uh, toggle animation button click uh, what I have done is that if the fx dot off is true then I am making it false and if it is false then I am making it true and on click of btn show I am showing with the uh, slow intensity and on the click of hide I am sliding up with the slow intensity now let us see this with action fx method now I can I will I am clicking so it is animating and showing and I'm clicking hiding it is sliding up and showing now when I will click toggle animation what will happen is the entire animation of the page will be disabled and when I will click so the final stage will come you can see that it is directly showing and hide will directly hide it will not perform any animations because fx dot fx dot off is false now when I will make it true then now animation will be performed so that was the fx dot off method